Hey everyone, welcome. Today I am diving into how I get my adenium plants to bloom beautifully. It's more about understanding than hands-on action. But trust me, it's effective. Let's get started. Wondering why repotting matters? Well, it's essential because your plant could be rotting inside the pot without you knowing. Plus, if you don't repot, your plant's root might start bending and lose its charm. Pruning. Now pruning is the key to lots of flowers. More branches mean more blooms. But timing and technique are crucial. Trim near the leaf knots and at an angle. Make sure the branches are thick enough before snipping them. Thicker branches tend to produce more branches. I usually trim them after winter. Using balanced fertilizer. Picture this. A well-fed plant equals loads of flowers. So. Give your plant some good compost like vermicompost or lip compost. Osmocot works too but it's pricey. I reserve that for my rare adeniums. Sometimes I use seaweed extract for extra micronutrient. If you are enjoying the video, hit that subscribe button. Thanks. Watering. Only water when the topsoil is dry and avoid watering the flower buds. Wet buds can drop. That's not what we want. It might even lead to flower burning. So avoid watering the buds, especially during hot months like April. Providing shade during summer. Adeniums love sunlight, but too much can harm them. I have set up a little shade using a net to protect mine from getting scorched. Keeping them shaded helps in getting better blooms. Right amount of sunlight. Balance shade and sunlight. Don't go overboard with heavy cloth for shade. Let some sunlight filter through. When it's not scorching hot, remove the shade and let your plant soak in 6 to 8 hours of direct sunlight. If you have got the right soil mix, let your plant enjoy the rain during the rainy season. But if your soil is too heavy, save rain water and use that for watering. Insects. Pesky bugs can ruin your blooms by sucking the life out of your plants. Keep an eye out for red mites and mealybugs. You can use insecticides to get rid of them or simply cut the affected leaves. Trust me, your plant will thank you with more flowers. Lack of nutrients. Adenium can survive on minimal fertilizer but they do need some food occasionally for heavy bloom. So don't forget to feed them now and then. Choosing a heavy blooming variety. Some adenium varieties bloom more than others. If you are not sure, ask your breeder. But honestly, it's not the most crucial point. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Drop your questions in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more gardening tips. Happy gardening.